When you think about history, you probably think about museums. It's the place where we keep our past alive. Right now, museums are doing something very special for our veterans. Ken Gaddy's here from the Paul W. Bryant Museum to tell us all about it. Ken, thanks so much for being with us today, buddy. Thanks for having me on. Good to see you again. Good to see you. How are things going? So far, so good. Were you guys busy today on the holiday? We had a fair number of people today, so uh, good for a holiday. And you guys started doing something really special today uh, for Memorial Day, and it'll go on for a while. It's for veterans, right? right. We, we're a part of the Blue Star Museum program, which is a, a nationwide program, about 1,600 museums involved with that, 15 in Alabama, two here in Tuscaloosa. The Tuscaloosa Museum of Art is also involved, where veterans, uh, active military can get in free. So come by the museum, show your ID, and your party up to five people can get in the museum for free from now through Labor Day. There you go. It's all summer long. All summer long. So I think we had 11 today participate in that. So active military, just show us your ID. Veterans can come by also, show us their ID, and they and their party can get in free. And you guys are, are, are doing some research, too, that has to do with, uh, with veterans in, in the armed forces, right? Well, we have one book out now on Alabama football players that served in World War II mm -hmm. when winning was everything. Uh, great Father's Day gift if you need one there. We're also researching another book about the campus as a whole, so not just football players, but everybody who was on campus during World War II and their participation. And we're shooting for Veterans Day this fall to have that book out. Wow, how do you guys even go about doing that? Because that's just got to be well, so many rosters of students in going through that, and I don't know, how does that work? Well, we start with a great writer, Delbert Reed, who worked for the Tuscaloosa News for many years, uh, is our writer. Uh, so he knows how to do the research, he's used to doing that. Uh, but there are just so many resources that we've had available to us. The alumni magazine in particular has been very good, Tuscaloosa News, those articles from the papers and just they were getting out and beating the bushes. So you find one veteran who leads you to another one who leads you to another one. Um, so it's been a lot of fun to meet those guys uh, and have them back uh, to do the interviews with them. And of course, we're losing them every day. They're in their 80s, even you know, a lot of them in their 90s. So uh, several that we interviewed for the first book have already passed away. So uh, it's a good, you know, hopefully we can get to them before uh, they leave us and get their stories down on paper. There you are. And whenever you guys get done with this project, it'll be in book form too, right? That's right. So we're that, that, hoping for Veterans Day this fall to have that second book out. All right, super. Ken, we're out of time, but it was good seeing you. Thank you. If you're a veteran, you can visit the Bryant Museum for free starting now until September 3rd. That's Labor Day. You can find out more online at bryantmuseum.com or by calling 205-348-4668.